Hello everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you for coming back to my channel and thank you for joining our challenge. So today is day 17, which means that today is August the 17th. And as you can see, I have already started putting down our substrate. So I will continue doing that. Okay, the substrate is down and now we can add a veil of gesso as we always do. And now we can let it dry. So here we are, the gesso has dried and now I want to try to do something new. I want to make an experiment with my colors because today I would like to color this page not with a paintbrush, not with a palette knife, but only using this makeup sponge. And I want to tell you why I want to try this out because uh, yesterday I used this stencil and I saw how these colors blended together and I really loved it. So today I am using uh, magenta number 369 and this emerald green. I want to blend them together. I'm going to put a drop of color right here next to me. And the magenta too. And I want to see how they blend together. I just want to go for something pretty unusual than what I have always been doing. I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but my husband is watching TV, so we are going to participate to his movie in some way. Well, I can say that it's rather weird and new to me. I would like to add some more magenta before it starts to dry, just a little bit. And I love it, don't you? I like how this makeup sponge blends the color together. And the substrate underneath is so visible, you can actually read the words. That's so strange, this is my very first time. Okay, I'm going to let it dry and then I will do the same thing again. So the first layer of color has dried and I want to move on adding more, more stains. I'm going to put magenta over the green and the green over magenta. This is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to let this thing dry. And here it is. It reminds me of one of those Hubble telescope pictures from far away galaxies and nebula. Anyway, I'm going to put some light on this piece and I take just a little hint of yellow and I add just a little bit of gesso. I will mix them together and I have found, I don't know how to say this in English, but this is 
um, a drywall tape. I don't know if this is the right way to, to call it, but this is what it is for. Anyway, I'm going to add some of this gesso stained with yellow paint using this as a mask. Wow. And here too. Isn't this a beautiful background? I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, I'm going to let it dry and then we will choose together the pictures for today's project. So before moving on to the picture, I saw that there is some residue paint here. I don't want to throw it away, so I'm going to grab my paintbrush. It is soaked with water and I just want to try to use this paint to make some splatters on our piece. It should be rather easy. And let's try and see what happens. Yay! Wonderful! Let it dry! So here we are. I have an idea and I have a problem because I saw two pictures that I am interested in. The first one is this part of a tree and the second one is this body with this kind of lizard and they are one on the back of the other, so I don't know how to cut it, I have to pay attention, I will try to do that and see you in a moment. So this is the idea, I have cut out this um, raincoat and this lizard and this tree is going to be in some way the, the neck of these creatures and I think I'm going to to trim down the piece because it is very big but I have found another picture on the magazine full of these weird lamps and I wanted to cut out three or four of them and see if they can work as some kind of, of embellishment so I will try to cut it out and see what happens So now let's bring back our crazy background and this is the result. It is amazing. It's really, really weird, but there is something missing. I am referring to a color right here. So before gluing down this other monster that I did, I take once again the magenta, I take once again a little tiny drop of gesso, ok, 
Okay. I'm going to mix these two together. I take my paintbrush full of water and I make some more colored splatters on the piece with this kind of pink. I'm not a fan of pink, but I just want to bring some more color to the background. Or I can make it drip. Why not? Why don't we try to make it drip from above? Let's see what happens. Yay! This is so crazy, and I like that. I do like that. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and let this thing dry. And here we are, but it's not over yet, because since I am still playing with colors, I still have a little bit of time. So, I just want to add some pure magenta splatters, yes! Isn't it too much? It's never too much, never! Some more color, some more water... Yes, 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 yes! Let it go! Yes! That's the way we like it! Let it dry now! And just when you thought it was over, it is not. Because I'm going to take another little bit of gesso. I am going to mix it with this emerald green that we used at the beginning. Just some more, please. Mix it up. And there we go. Yay! Super beautiful! Let it dry! And here we are, isn't it beautiful? So let's take our collage and our bigger brush and our Mod Podge and glue it down. And we are going to seal this piece with another coat of Mod Podge. So this piece is nowhere near my comfort zone and I'm pretty happy and proud about it. So let the Mod Podge dry and then you know what happens. And now, Stabilo time!
So, isn't this one of the craziest things that I have ever done? 100% yes. So, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and see you tomorrow for page 18. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.